Hi guys, I'm Felicia and today I'll show you Troll Run. So to get here, there's a bus that operates all time. It's called Bus 56 to Solom Skogen and you have to take that to stop at Troll by Kriset, which is here, this bus stop. And it has an amazing view and all you have to do is just walk along this uphill, this main road. However, there is also a weekend bus that brings you up to Troll Run which is bus 56B. It is definitely a nice walk up here and exercise. And on our way, we actually bumped into this Rusbus, which is actually Norwegian teenage students. They have this party bus before the exam and they party in this cool, awesome bus. And I bet you, this bus is specially painted and inside, if you see, they are so fast, are totally different from normal bus. This is what we call the Norwegian students party bus and they pay crazy a lot of money for that. And check this out, they even paid Will Smith. On the way, you will also spot onto this Maridals bonnet where the water source of Oslo comes from. Too bad you cannot swim in it because it is water for people to drink, alright? And we also spotted some cyclists on the way. It is super cool because they come down really really fast but when you see them cycling up, it's really really tough job. I saw that, it was so fast. Lots of people cycling here, like crazy. They cycle like, they go like really high up, like cycle up here. And then, come down here like super 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 fast. So here we've come to the part where you can choose to go to the forest road or to the main road. If you don't have your own proper shoes to hike, probably you can just walk along the main road. It's slower but at least more comfortable and this hiking would be requiring more fitness. So it all depends on you. Honestly, this hiking trail from the start is not that steep and quite easy and one cool thing is around this area has a lot a lot of blueberries bushes. I found some blueberries, they are ripe already so I'm gonna try them and see if they are sour or sweet. Mm, they're sweet, they're ripe already. Oh my gosh, blueberries are ripe in Oslo! Big ones in there. Um, there are lots of mushrooms around this area and then I'll go mushroom hunting so maybe soon there will be lots of mushrooms bling bling mushroom I'll come for you soon bye bye soon. bye bye <laughs> I'm so tired! I've run up because there's a lot of like ants around this area. I'm so tired. I'm crazy tired. <laughs> Ready! We're on top. There. That's where. And only Saturday, Sunday, they have a bus stop that goes there. No cars. Welcome to Trollsbron! This is my ultimate favorite place in Oslo. Look at the clear water, the blue sky, such an awesome weather, and this place looks like a fjord out of Oslo. And there you see the guy cycling. He's actually cycling his babies and kids in the carriage. It's a Norwegian thing and I think it's super adorable. So this is our spot and we are gonna chillax here and jump in the water. See ya! Er det varme den på 
Varmere enn i varmebukta? Ja. Samme? Samme. Ok. The cold water in Norway is definitely refreshing, but then afterwards, it's a necessity to get the sun because you're so cold that you need the sun to warm you up. about Trolls One is there's this corner where it's so shallow that even babies or young toddlers can go and weddle themselves at that beach area and you can actually walk over from here that end to the other end and it is super shallow naturally how cool is that That's all, I am going back now because the weather is changing and the black clouds are coming so rain is coming so I have to go back and enjoy my lovely dinner. So thanks for watching and do check out also another video about the Varvenbukta beach which is on the other side of Oslo. I remember the blueberries that I picked so I came back and make them into fresh blueberry sauce as a topping for my waffle ice cream dessert. Oh, nom nom nom, yummy licious. Thanks, do subscribe and bye bye.